take up and come forward and give your testimony to the glory of God. The Lord has done great things in your life, mighty things in your life. And those of us who are connected online, as you discover what the Almighty God has done for you, send information so that you also will give your testimony. Praise the Lord. At the back, check up. In front, check up. Online, check up. The Almighty God has released his power. Check up and you will see what the Lord has done. And when you see it, come out and give your testimony now and today. We want to celebrate you. The world will celebrate Jesus in you. We have a testimony from Bayelsa now. We are going online. Bayelsa brings us this testimony live. Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Jafet Isiri of Bayelsa State, Nigeria. I'm of Deeper Life Bible Church. For about 12 years, 20, 2010 to 20, 2022, 12 years, I have problem of waist pain arthritis. And since then, I've been going for medication in the FMC hospital, this, that, this, that, no avail. But yesterday, the GS, at last, amen, I got my healing. Praise the Lord. I can now preach in the pulpit, shake my waist, shake my waist, do any how I like. I can now jump. Next, we'll take you to Kano State, Northern Nigeria, for another testimony. Kano, live. I want to thank God for what God has done in my life. I want to thank God for the gift of life. I want to thank God for what God did in the last global crusade, triumphant power in Akure. I was having challenges in my eyes for over four years now. So, during the global crusade, the last one, our GS was praying and said that if, if we know where we have challenges, we may have in that place. So, I remember that I cannot read very well. In fact, I don't read ordinarily. I used to read with my, my glass, my reading glass. And I have up to, I have up to three glasses. So, after the prayer of the man of God, after the prayer of the man of God, I went home. As I reached home, the next day I looked for my glass that I used to read. I didn't see it. So, I, I looked for the other one. I brought that one, that one damaged. I don't know the reason why the thing damaged. So, I looked for the last one. As I looked, I... As as I brought the last one out, the screw removed. I don't know what is happening. So, I didn't know that God wants me to know that he has killed me. From my eyes problem. I didn't know that the, the way I cannot reach with that glass was an attack. So one day I summoned courage by reading my, I just brought my Bible to read. As I was reading the Bible, the thing was clear. It was awesome. I was very happy that God had hit me because it, is a, it was a challenge to me. I cannot go anywhere without. My, if I forgot my glass, maybe coming to church, I forgot my glass at home. You know, I can't read Bible in the church. And I used to see the man of God. He will read Bible far and near. And look at his old, his age. But look at me, how, how old am I? That enemy afflicted me that I can't read. With, you know, if I'm reading with ordinary eyes by then, 
I will see I will see everything black. I cannot see any words. But now I can read very well. So that's why I want to thank God for what God has done for me and for this last crusade. Praise the Lord. It's back to the state of us here. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done great and mighty things. We now listen to testimonies from the Alpha location. First testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, I know say my sister they see me at Kwantagora. Ha. My name is no, let me talk with Hausa. Sunana Rifkatu Haruna, Rebecca Aaron. In a farmer, the one in Rashid Lafia, she can't have a book. In a farmer, the one in Rashid Lafia, Tunda Gakafa, Boynia Tefia, Sobo the Rashid Lafia, na Hanaka, the Anka Wani Gidama, Manata Mutu, Taboni, in a farmer. Naikwa, Nai Shekara, Nabiu. Zua na uku kena ban taba gani huska mutumba ban gani huska mutum sai dai in gani hoton mutum sai in yayi magana in san wa yake magana amma jiya na fara samun miraku a wurin taronga bayan da aka yi addu'a jiya na dai zo da fet tun daga gida na ce in na zo na ba da gaskiya zan warke haka kuma ya tabbata jiya kafan nan yana fitan ruwa yana fitan wani yauki yauki haka sai na sa magani wata bi sai na sa bandage ban ya sa takalmi jiya sai kafa ya fara warkewa na fara tafiya zuwa nan ban je na ba da sheda ba yau sai sister din ta ce mu tashi da addu'a domin yo tana son sai na gani ni ma na sa rayuwa na yes yo sai na gani a cikin sunan yesu an gama addu'a yanzu ga ina tare da yan uwa na sai na dubi huskanta sai na ganta na ce eh yes na ga huskanki sai na sake na duba wata mata ta ce wani kala ne ita na ce ita fara ne na ganta fara na ko mata ce in je wani wance mata na dube ta ita baka ne na ce ita baka ne ido na ya fara bude ya ma bude a cikin sunan yesu ina ce ma Ubangiji na gode Ubangiji Allah ya dauki daukaka Ubangiji Allah ya saban takarcin baban mu a cikin sunan Yesu Praise the Lord This woman before us here she has two testimonies Number 1 she has problem with her leg for many years When she was here yesterday Actually, if you look at the leg, it discovered that the pus was coming out yesterday. But this very moment, everywhere is dried. Everywhere is dried. She was not able to put, I mean, to wear her shoe or slippers, but now she's wearing it right now. I've known her for a very long time when I was in Contagora. Really, she was not seen. But now her eyes are open. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're going to try her right now. May one now. Now what? Now what? May one and praise the Lord. She is free. Testify, please. I am Dr. Sunday Rinle, a medical practitioner. The summary of the sister that just finished testifying uh, now is that 
she had been having severe, uh, serious health issues uh, with her legs for about eight years. Yesterday, and the, a lot of pus was coming out from the leg, but yesterday after the prayers, the draining of pus dried up. This evening, she had been having issues with her eyes. She couldn't see at all. But immediately after the prayer of the man of God this evening, the eyes opened. She couldn't see people's face. But as she came to where we were interviewed, she could see people's face. She could recognize the colors and she could see, count the fingers just as you saw that we tested. Praise the Lord. uh, this woman, she is from Riga. She has been suffering from uh, pain on her abdomen for good 18 years. Good 18 years. After the prayer of the man of God, she lay her hands. We are, as man of God give instruction, she lay her hands where the pain is troubling her. After the prayer, she noticed that that, that terrible pain began to go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, till the pain finally vanished. Praise the Lord. She is now free from any pain that is troubling her for 18 years. Praise the Lord. Her name is Hanatu Ilya from Mariga, Tasha Amali village. The woman has, who has mentioned her name was suffering from severe pains in the right side of the abdomen, which could not be explained for about 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. But after the prayer of the man of God this evening, the pain started moving down, and the way she described it is that the thing actually entered into the ground immediately after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. That is wonderful. And what the Lord has done for them, he will do for you also in Jesus' name. go online for more testimonies. The power of God is touching a lot of people online. Let's take you to the social media. From the media, we have this coming from Faith Ogochuku, and she wrote, my daughter Boma has been healed of persistent vomiting yesterday. She was rushed to the hospital and um, the doctors checked, they prescribed so many things but eventually, uh, the problem persisted, and she was brought to the crusade in the evening. And while the prayer of the man of God was going on, according to her, she laid her hand on her daughter. And just after that, after the prayer, 
the girl who had been vomiting and so weak asked her mother that she wanted to eat. And according to her, she gave her a malt, uh, a malt drink. And after taking that, she did not vomit. Since then till now, the girl is very well playing around with her mates and the vomiting and sickness is gone and gone. We now take you to Calabar, South South Nigeria, Cross River State, live. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! I am Sister Rose from a same town group of districts. I am here to testify to the glory of God, what the God Almighty God has done in my life, he has done in my family, because they should be crying by now. I want to tell you that in the months, in the year 2020, I was very sick. I was very, very sick. I trapped, I, in fact, I was on that sickness until 2021. And that sickness, I've been moving from one hospital to the other. That sickness, they dictated it in 2021, which was ovariances. In the hospital where I was taken to, they call me the woman with a very huge ovariances. That's what they call me. The doctor will ask the other doctor, where, where, who is that? That woman with a very huge ovariances. The other one will ask, where is the woman? The woman with a very huge ovariances. I didn't know what to do. Then the doctor told my husband, he said, let me tell you, it is 50-50. She may survive it because it's too big. Oh God, the thing is big. I thank God I was operated and God saw me through. My brethren, I want to tell you that after that operation, it was like all hope is gone. I entered another wahala, a very serious sickness. Right from my hair, I mean my hair, to my toes, to my right hand, to my left hand, I was, in fact, there was no life in me. I tell you, I battle with it. I battle with it. Tomorrow, people will be looking whether she will die. Until when my husband say, it's time, oh, they say, next month you will resume work. My brethren, I started crying. I said, with this kind of health, they say, I should resume work. I will not, I will resign. I'm going to resign. I told my husband, I said, he said, wait first, just wait. My brethren, I said, okay. I hold on. The day came that I should start work. The doctor advised me, say, just go and sit in the office. When it is time, return. I say, okay. I went the first day. When, when I was returning, when I'm going, my road is not motorable. It's not too far. But when I am coming back home, I sit by the wayside anywhere at all. I sit in order to regain my strength. Otherwise, my leg is as if one leg they tie a block to it. The other one as if they tie a block to it. My brethren, God himself knows what I'm, I pass through. Until I started like that, to cross the road to my house is another wall. I say, if I cross a vehicle, even if it's coming as far as the other area, I will not move until somebody will lead me and cross the road. God help me, God help me, God help me, he help me. Right, my, I have high blood pressure. My leg is in numbness, I don't know, the hospital are not dictates. I don't know what everything it was called, but God help me, God help me. My brethren, on that day, on that day, August, uh, crusades, when pastor say, we have a brother, brother Bassi, to testify. When he came up, he testified saying that the whole of his body was not his body. I said, okay. And God touched him, he recovered. I am going to recover also. That's what I took it. I stood. I said, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. And I started. I touched my legs. 
I touch, I touch until I touch my chest, I touch my eyes because I could not think any longer when I was suffering from that. I cannot think, I cannot talk, I cannot, no, don't ask me anything because I will just start crying because it was too much on me. But that day, God helped me. He touched me. I, life came into me when God touched me on that night. He said, put your hand where it's disturbing you. And I put on my head, put on my eyes until I reached down, down, up, until God gave me life. I was refined, my sisters. I was refined, my brothers. If you are here, you have any problem, just look up to God. God should help our WF Kumuyi. Let GCK continue. Let it continue. It will not stop. No matter the powers, it will not stop. He will continue to help. God will continue to use him. In the mighty name of Jesus. See me. See me. See me. Joy everywhere because of the power of God of all possibilities. It's back to the state of us here. Praise the Lord. Mighty, mighty miracles from the power of the Almighty God. As we draw the curtain for tonight, we are going to listen to the orchestra, then we round up. But then, before then, don't forget, tomorrow, Sunday, we are going to have a special Sunday worship service right here at this venue. Come 7.30, begin to pray, expecting more visitation from the Lord, and he will bless you. As you go, the Lord will bless you. Your miracle will follow you in the mighty name of Jesus. stand up as we close with a word of prayer now. Will you appreciate the Lord? Will you say thank you, Lord, for great and mighty things he has done? Yes, in spite of the rain, heaven came down. The glory of God came down. Mighty miracles took place. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's glorify the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, Almighty God, you have done it again. We have had the privilege of experiencing your touch and your power. In all our, in all our, our locations scattered all over Nigeria and all over the continents of the world. Thank you for visiting every one of your people who connected via the social media. Thank you for the miraculous visitation and those you have saved. We are praying, Almighty God, that the people you have saved, saved their experiences will remain permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have testified. said hallelujah Amen. today is a day three of our global crusade and do you know what god the father is here Amen. god the son is here Amen. and god the holy spirit is here Amen. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be rest assured that no matter the problems you came with tonight, praise God with the whole of your heart. And those mountains and those problems will be rolled away. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll be praising God tonight alongside with our brethren in France. We'll join them as we worship God together. Be on your feet wherever you are.
lot of brethren in France.
joy, joy, joy overflow in my If you are expecting a big miracle from the God of all possibility, shout a loud amen. amen. How many of us have been Christ Jesus has the power, the power to forgive, the power to quicken whom he will and make the sinner live. Christ Jesus has the power, the power to renew, the power to cleanse your heart from sin and make you wholly true. Christ Jesus has the power forevermore to keep. Oh, none can pluck you from his hand or rob him of his sheep. Christ Jesus has the power, the power to console, the power to carry all your care on him your burdens roll. Christ Jesus has the power to wipe the tear away. Oh, place in him your confidence and trust him and obey. Christ Jesus has the power, the power to destroy, 
the power to bruise your enemy who will your soul annoy. Christ Jesus had the power when on your dying bed to give your soul the victory, the power to raise the dead. Christ Jesus had the power. O tell you far and near, O bring to him your guilty heart and grace shall banish fear. Christ Jesus had the power, the power of God he wits. Christ Jesus had the power, my heart surrender yields. Christ Jesus had the power, I trust him evermore. Christ Jesus had the power, I worship and adore.
to testify what God has done in my life. During the global, uh, uh, global crusade from the man of God, I, I am a woman who has suffered for 12 years, affliction from one sickness to another. But one day, God answered me. And that was the day I attended the crusade by my friend. He came to the house and told me, come, let us attend the global uh, crusade. And even when I was hungry, I had to follow him because of the, of the, serious, uh, the seriousness in illness. I followed her, and when I reached there, the man of God was a uh, ministry. I sat down and I listened to the word of God. And when it came to the time where he said he was going to pray for the sick, and he said, he gave a command, he said, touch anywhere where you know it is paining you. And I touched my hand on my knee, on my stomach where it was paining me, I was urinating a blood, I cannot touch it. I was just at the point of death. And I was telling God, if it is the time, let him take away my life. But God gave me a solution. Where I touched this hand, that day, the type of sleep, after that prayer, the type of sleep I slept. For a very long time, I have never had that type of sleep. I slept so well. And as a diabetic, I urinated only one time. It was a surprising news. So the following morning, when she came to ask me, how was it? And I said, God touched my life. And since that day, see now as I'm talking and standing, that womb and the urinating, I used to urinate blood, stopped. I can touch my womb, my, my stomach has gone down, it is not swollen again. So I want to thank God and thank the man of God who God has used to help me, to keep me alive, to bring me back to life. That God should continue to use him so that he will touch the life of so many. Amen. My name is White at Bogen from Gochen Group of District, Epoma, Edo State. I want to share the testimony I experienced in the last GCK held in Ondo State. That time, I was in my district officiating. So the period between the salvation experience and before pastor said the last, amen. That was when the miracle took place. So during that time, I was leading the church to pray. And while leading them in preparation, I mentioned my own case while leading them by saying, wherever you're having a challenge, breathing, that's BP palpitation, that you should touch it, touch that place, and then you will get your healing. While I was doing that, I subconsciously touched my heart. And I felt a jerking in the process. I paused to know what was happening, whether it's something serious or not. But when I checked myself, my body system was okay. So I continued with the prayer. Not knowing that God had done something in my body. Praise the Lord. So after the entire program ended, I got back home. Usually, before I sleep, I have this unrest that as soon as i lie down my the palpitation will be coming up i will be breathing so fast it will disturb me close to an hour or two before i fall asleep this is a recurring sequence so i was familiar with it but that particular day i quickly lie down was expecting it but nothing came up I was so surprised. It, it, it made me to just rise up on the bed. So I said, this is not what I experienced. I now went to pick an apparatus, BP apparatus, and I placed the cuff at my hand, and then checked the machine. 
Before this time, that machine has never told me normal. It has always said mild hypertension. So it's like what I hear all the time each time I test it. Even other ones in the hospital that I test. But when I placed it there and pressed the on button, it started taking my pressure. After it ended, it said normal. I was surprised, I was shocked. I said, okay, maybe this is the first one, let me see, continue. I did it again, pressed the on button, it took my BP, it repeated the same word, normal. In fact, I was so excited, I didn't wait, I had to call my wife, please.